Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Samantha and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a hair tonic. So a hair tonic is something that I've been using well for many many years throughout my natural hair journey but I tend to use it a lot more often when I have a protective style and I currently have a protective style. I find hair tonics to be a great thing not just to you know kind of stimulate hair growth but also just to add moisture to your hair and to your scalp. Dry hair, dry scalp, when you've got a protective scar it's just a recipe for disaster. But before we even get into the video first of all I want to thank those who've subscribed to my channel guys you are just amazing and I could not thank you enough. If you haven't subscribed already then please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Also click the bell icon so that whenever I have a new video on the channel you'll be notified. So making a hair tonic there's so many recipes out there but this is the one that I'm using at the moment and I know it is beneficial and I've used it time and time again and I've never been disappointed. Because it's a hair tonic the main thing is moisture so I've got my water here. The second ingredient is rosemary. So rosemary has got lots of benefits for the hair and the scalp. It stimulates hair growth by promoting the blood circulation. You can use fresh rosemary or dried rosemary. If you don't have that, then you can leave it out and instead use um, rosemary essential oil. The next thing is ginger. Ginger is another um, growth stimulant. It also stimulates blood circulation. And then the next ingredient I'm going to use is green tea. So green tea has got lots of antioxidants. Antioxidants are those things which help to to prevent hair damage or scalp damage from free radicals. And then my next ingredient is the Moringa tea. Moringa has been shown to be a superfood. It's got lots of vitamins and minerals and lots of antioxidants as well. If you don't have the Moringa tea as I have, you can just steep the Moringa leaves if you've got, or um, if you've got Moringa powder instead, you can use that. And then the next ingredient, which I discovered um, more recently, um, to be beneficial for the hair and the scalp is parsley. It's been shown actually to be beneficial for people with alopecia. That's because it actually promotes regrowth. And then the next ingredient, this is a firm favorite of many, and that is aloe vera. So I'm just using aloe vera juice out of a bottle because my aloe plants, unfortunately, they're still very small, so they wouldn't give me enough aloe vera juice. But if you've got the plants, then you can make your own juice. Just you know, take out the um, the flesh, blend it, strain it, and you've got your juice. And then the next thing I'm going to use is my glycerin. So glycerin, we know it is a humectant and therefore it helps to keep moisture in our hair and also in our scalp. Last but not least, um, many of you already know how much I love using essential oils, especially peppermint essential oil. So I love using this. This is my favorite, Peperitamentha, which is the one that's been shown to stimulate hair growth and um, it smells lovely. So it's like we're making a tea or an infusion. I'm just gonna add half a cup of boiling water. And then we're just going to take a few sprigs of rosemary. And then with the ginger, I'm just going to take, break off a piece. And then I'm just going to grate it. The next ingredient is the moringa tea. And then I'm just taking a bunch. And I'm going to take the green tea, put a, a tea bag in there. And now I'm just going to stir this and let this steep. So I'm not adding the glycerin, the aloe vera juice, or the peppermint at the moment. Those will go in later. and let it cool. And I usually leave it for at least 12 hours. I and mean, you can leave it until the next day if you want. Um, but I'll leave it for 12 hours. I'm just gonna cover this just to make sure that it steeps nicely. Okay, so it's been about 12 hours since this uh, infusion has been steeping. And um, I'll just show you what it looks like now. So this 
bit of condensation there that's right it's actually cool so all that good stuff which was in the um you know the herbs and and the spices they are now in the water and um it is basically a herbal infusion so what i'm going to do now is just strain that because we don't want any of those chunky bits in our tonic And now we're going to add, add the rest of the ingredients. So I'm going to add my aloe vera juice. And then for the glycerin, I'm going to use one and a half tablespoons. And then last but not least, I'm going to add my peppermint essential oil. Now, I know not everybody's going to like peppermint essential oil. And if this is not one of your favorites, you can use any other uh, good ones to use. Good options would be tea tree essential oil. You can use um, any citrus oil like orange, grapefruit, lemon, um, essentially anything that's going to help stimulate hair growth and um, the nice thing about essential oils is that they also act as um, preservatives so you know we've got enough ingredients in there to stimulate hair growth so if any of those I've mentioned are not the ones you like you can use any other so um, we've got quite a bit of liquid in there so I'm actually gonna add about five drops of peppermint essential oil So the glycerin will act as a, a, an emulsifier and what that means is that it will do its very best to mix the oil which you find in the essential oil with the liquid because otherwise water and liquid don't mix very well. And now I'm not saying this is going to you know emulsify it thoroughly but it will help to some extent and whisking it for a few minutes is also going to help with that. So this is what it looks like to begin with. And that's essential oil floating on the water. Um, because we know water and oil don't mix very well unless you're using an emulsifier. So um, I'm just going to whisk this and try and emulsify it as much as possible. So as you can see now, the essential oil and the liquid have been mixed very well. Um, you no longer see those big globules of oil floating on the surface as they were before. And I whisk this for about a couple of minutes. It does make a difference as you can see. Um, so now this is it. This is essentially the hair tonic all ready to use. So I'm just going to pour this into my a spray bottle and then I'll show you how I use it. So this is it. This is a wonderful herbal hair tonic. I have to say I find this a much better way to add a boost of moisture to the hair compared to just water. So if you're out and about and your hair and your scalp are starting to feel a bit dry and I find that happens quite a lot in the summer when I've got a protective style because my scalp is a lot more exposed then I just whip this out of my bag, spritz it and I feel an instant boost of moisture and relief. I love it. Um, the essential oils, the peppermint will have a lovely tingling feeling as well which is just absolutely gorgeous. It smells wonderful so it's going to add you know, a nice scent to your hair and your scalp. Obviously how it smells depends on the essential oils you use. So um, in terms of what you use it for, as I said I use this as a hair tonic and moisture boost. You can use it as your liquid when you're doing the LCO or LOC method. Even the LB um, because we've added aloe vera juice to it and aloe vera juice does have some conditioning properties but um, because it's so light, it's so liquid and there's very little in the way of protein etc. Um, mm -hmm. Some people might prefer this instead of you know heavy um, leave-in conditioners which have a lot of 
protein in them. Don't forget aloe vera just does have some amino acids in it, so it's not totally protein free, but it's got very little in it. This is great for more parotides can use this no problem how long it can last because we've added glycerin and some essential oils this can last two weeks maybe a week and a half depending on how you're looking after it but as long as you you know you can take it out in your bag that's what i do you know you walk, walk around with it and that's absolutely fine but as soon as you get home then you have to put it back in the fridge and that way it'll keep i used aloe vera juice with a preservative in it and therefore this is going to last at least three weeks and may last even a bit longer than that but that's also provided i remember to put it back in the fridge um at the end of the day or as long as i'm not using it and i just think you know keeping it in the fridge is actually better because it's just going to make it nice and cool spritz this and you will love it your scalp will love you as well so um I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. And if you do make it, I'd love to know. So come back and let me know. Comment in the comment section below. As I say, there's so many recipes. So if you've used a different recipe, then I'd love to know what you've used before. And, um, you know, just to note that if you don't find all the ingredients, then please don't worry. Uh, you know, as I said, you don't have to use all the ingredients, but use as many as you can, because then that's going to give you as many of the benefits that I talked about before. But anyway, if you do use something else, let me know. I'm going to come back with more recipes. You know, I love my DIYs. So I'll come back and I'll show you once I've finished this one, then I'll come in and show you a different recipe because as you know, I love making stuff and sharing them with you. So as I was demonstrating in this clip, I just spritz the hair tonic onto my scalp and also onto the extensions where my hair will be and just massaged it a little bit into the extensions just to make sure that my hair was well moisturized and I tell you guys it felt amazing. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't already please hit the red subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up and also click the little bell icon. Until next time you take care of yourselves. Bye for now.